in this video we are going to study the type and the order of system how to find when they will give you the open loop transfer function which is nothing but g of s into h of s okay so it is applicable for only g of s into h of s which is open loop transfer function we will ask you type and order of the system so let us now first find for the given system we have to find the transfer function is given determine the type and order of the system okay so first we have to understand what is type of the system okay so type of the system basically means the number of poles present at the origin this is very important okay so we'll try to understand this one then what is order of the system then order of system is the total number of poles total number of poles so there is a difference between the number of poles present at the origin and total number of poles for the given system for the entire system okay what are the system is given for that system now here we have to understand type of the system we have to see the poles present at the origin and one more thing you should understand by poles we are talking about poles this given system has poles and zeros but we will be talking about only poles here so type and order of the system depends upon only the poles now type of the system depends upon number of the poles present at the origin and order of the system depends upon the total number of poles present at the origin uh, always remember the denominator of the given transfer function will be represented by the poles from here we will get the poles and the numerator gives the zeros so we are talking about only the poles that means the denominator we have to see and which part we have to see the s part okay so in this you can see the s part is there now poles present at the origin will be always sitting alone that means we have to see s which is always sitting alone with no other number or no other variables okay so here we are having the function let me just write s square into s plus 2 into s plus 3 so denominator only i am writing because we have to see only the poles now here this s is having some factor that means s is having some a number with along with h so here how many terms we can consider how many multiplication factors we have see s square is there then into bracket k then s plus 2 is there then again into then again bracket k that means first s square was there then into s plus 2 then again into s plus 3 so how many terms we are having three multiplication factor terms in which where is the s sitting alone s is sitting only here alone power might be anything it can be 2 1 0 anything but with this s there is no other variable right no other number no other variable nothing only s is there that some power is there that is nothing but poles present at origin so this decides the poles which is present at origin very important okay now how many poles are present at the origin for the given question two poles how i can say i have to see the degree of s variable which is sitting alone so what is the degree of the uh, variable sitting alone s sitting alone here it is two so that's why i can say that the number of poles present at the origin is 2 this you have to understand let us go for the total number of poles again poles means you have to see s value s value in the denominator you have to see so instead of writing total number of poles for better understanding this i can write it as the highest degree highest degree of s highest degree of s present in the denominator in the denominator why in the denominator because we have to see only the poles okay so instead of writing total number of poles for the given system you can also write it as highest degree of s in the denominator highest degree means when you expand this thing what will be the highest power of s simple question okay so we'll try to expand this 
this two part will, will first multiply that is s square into s into s s square then s into 3 3s then 2 into s 2s plus 2 into 3 6 okay so it will be s square into this part you will solve so uh, 3s plus 2s it will be 5s so it is s square plus 5s plus 6 okay now again s square you have to multiply the final answer we can say that it will be s power 4 plus uh, 5s cube plus 6s square now in this we are having three terms right here one term is there here one term is there here one term is there the terms are differentiated by with the sign of plus okay so highest degree of s now s is here also here also here also highest degree we have to see that means this part we can see power 4 is there so s power 4 will be the highest degree of s that means highest degree is 4 so i can say that the order of the system will be 4 okay highest degree of s in the denominator so final answer we can write it as type of the system type is the number of poles present at the origin which is nothing but s sitting at the origin s alone sitting alone sitting that is nothing but degree of that is 2 so type of the system is 2 what is the order of the system order is nothing but the highest degree of s denominator after expansion we got it as 4 so we can see that this is nothing but the fourth order type 2 system or type 2 fourth order system okay i hope you understood we will solve one more few more problems then only you will understand so let us try to analyze this one again we have to see only the denominator part because we will be seeing only the poles now here s into s plus 1 into s square plus 2s plus 3 this is the denominator whatever the equation we are, they have given okay algebraic function with respect to s variable so s will give you the number of poles okay so first thing we have to go for the type of the system type is basically based on what the number of poles present at the origin so we have to see how many terms are there in this multiplication factor see first s came then multiplication then some term came then again multiplication then some term that means first s is there into s plus 1 again into s square plus 2s plus 3 so that means here one term here one term here one term in this you have to see where is s sitting alone with no other terms no other variables no other numbers here you can observe that s is sitting alone right so this term is having s sitting alone what is the power of that s no powers that means i can write it as power 1 see whenever power is not there you can denote it as what power 1 so here power is 1 so we can say it is type 1 system okay now let us go for the order of the system so for calculating order of the system we have to see the total number of poles that means highest degree of s in the denominator so here we have the function we will just expand directly so for expanding we will see s into s plus 1 is there into s square plus 2s plus 3 this expand it first this two expansion so s into multiply s with every all the terms so it will be s cube plus 2s square plus 3s then 1 you multiply with everything it will be s square plus 2s plus 3 now the like terms you combine s cube is as it is plus 2s square and s square will become 3s square 3s 2s will become 5s plus 3 again s you have to multiply with everything so it will be s into so that multiplication s power 4 plus 3s cube plus 5s square plus 3s so this is the expanded form in which we have to see how many terms 1 2 3 4 we have to see the highest power of s here you can see s power 4 so 4 is the highest power of s so i can directly write this is also a fourth order type 1 fourth order system okay so type 1 fourth order system 
let us go for one more problem in this again the same thing denominator we have to consider poles so we are having s minus 3 okay into s plus 0 0.1 so how many factors two multiplication factors we are having we have to see for the type of the system the number of poles present at the origin so s should be alone okay so where is the s alone so two factors i am having s is not alone here okay so this is s is having minus 3 and this is s is having some uh, number plus 0 0.1 so it is s is not alone so what you have to consider here that the type of the system where s is not available you can just add one more factor here s power 0 because anything power 0 is 1 you can add for your convenience so s power 0 means we can directly say the type will be 0 so whenever s is not there alone always remember you have to write the type as 0 because you can consider s power 0 there okay as a multiplication factor next we will go for the order of the system so order in order to calculate the order we have to see the total expanded form so this s power 0 no need to take just expand x minus 3 into s plus 0 0.1 so multiply s with these two terms to so s square plus 0 0.1 s plus minus 3 we have to multiply so it will be minus 3s plus uh, 0.3 so s square minus 2.9s plus 0 0.3 okay so here you can see what is the highest power of s highest power of s is 2 so it will be the 0 type 0 second order system okay type 0 second order system last problem we will consider so again the same thing denominator we have to consider the because of the poles so here we are having pole so it will be s cube into s power 4 plus 8 s square plus 16 okay s square plus 16 now type of the system will be the number of poles present at the origin so here you can observe that we are having s sitting alone that power is nothing but 3 so i can write type 3 how to find the order of the system just expand the denominator so this two i have to expand just multiply here s power 7 plus 8 s power 5 plus 16 s power 3 okay so i hope you understood what i am doing here how we got s power 3 s power 3 into s power 4 so base is same powers you have to add that is nothing but s power 7 okay that's how i am getting here now after getting we can see that highest power of s is 7 so I can write directly write the order of the system will be 7. So it is type 3, 7th order, 7th order system. Type 3, 7th order system. Now one question will arise. What is that question? Suppose for example, 20 by s square plus 4s plus 2 is given. Now we have to find the type and the order of the system, right? Now you will be a little bit confused because here people what they will do type of the system depends on s being alone sitting but always remember you will directly write and come that s is alone sitting here s power 2 so you will write a 2 and 2 is the type of the system because of the power 2 what is the order of the system order of the system will be uh, highest power of this thing again you will write 2 and come but this is absolutely wrong why because here you need to understand always when you consider the type of the system s being sitting alone okay s being alone basically means it should be in multiplication factor as you see in the example let me just go back to the examples uh, see over here here we are not having any s factor so what i said just multiply 1 s power 0 multiply i said multiply 1 s power 0 so that's why I'm considering the multiplication factor. Again, one more example, the previous one. So if you see here, S is sitting alone, but it is actually getting multiplied with the other terms. Okay, here also you can see S is sitting alone. 
but we are not considering that we are considering the s bean sitting alone with other multiplication factors okay and here the first example here also you can see s square is sitting it is getting multiplied with other factors that means it is in the multiplication factor form so again the same thing over here here s square is not getting multiplied with other terms it is getting added so 20 divided by s square plus 5x sorry 5s plus 6 so this i can expand it will be s square plus 2x Two s plus three s plus six, so s common s plus two. Here also it should be s plus two. So I can take outside plus three. So this two combine s plus three into s plus two. Now as soon as soon as you see this this one, this can be written as what? This can be written as twenty divided by s plus three into s plus two. Now it is in multiplication factor, right? These two are getting multiplied. This was not in multiplication factor, right? So whenever you get to this type of questions where they have directly given some polynomial, try to convert it into a multiplication factor. Basically, you have to factorize it. After factorizing, you will get to know that there is no s power factor setting, so we will take it as s power zero. So the order of the sorry type of the system will be zero, as we have seen this example. So you ignore this part. This part is we have given in the question. So s is not there. S power zero you have to do. Okay, so this you can expand and see. Now, after what will be the order of the system? Order of the system basically means the expansion of this version. Expansion will give you the same answer as this thing. Same answer as this thing. So s power two, it will remain the same. Here, if you see, it will be s power four. The order of the system will be four. Here, the order of the system will be uh, two. Because after expanding, you got to know that it is the same as the question. Question only a factorizing it. That's why it is the same thing.